this disposable plastic pull station wins the vote for the worst alarm in my collection. Just how bad can it be? Let's find out. This division that you be the boss. Happy Fire Alarm Friday and welcome to my review of the Ademco Model 529 Pull Station. This device comes to us new in box from eBay for a price far higher than this device ever deserves to be sold. Ademco even boasts this device to be another quality product. Dare I question the quality of the aforementioned other products? Let's find out what makes this pull station so intrinsically bad. To start, the construction of this pull station is very cheap. Initially, when I saw the listing on eBay, the photos made it seem like the pull station was made with a metal handle. However, I was extraordinarily incorrect. This device is very light in the hands and is made of low-grade plastic and has a light metal backplate that is seemingly unfinished. The backplate has some sharp edges that don't seem to be common in any of the other pull stations that I have with metal mounting brackets. Overall, I don't feel like the pull station is up for the challenge of being mounted without a protective cover like a stopper. If it was ever vibe checked by flying planks of wood, see, wood, watch, it would be quite a spectacle to watch and most certainly should be seen. From the limited information available about this device, I assume this station was made sometime around 1984, judging by the date code on the box. There was no manual included to give me any more information than what was provided by the box. JJ Inc. 24, or U8OLO, noted on his website that this pull station is very poorly designed. I can't figure out how it's supposed to activate. I too was confused as to the method of activation when considering my purchase. It wasn't until the device arrived that I fully understood how this device is used. To lock the station closed, a small plastic washer is placed in the front slot of the pull station and a small bolt is fed through and tightened down against the back plate of the station. Similar to the Firelight BG10 series pull stations, a bolt keeps the station closed. In order to activate the station, the user pulls forward on the handle much like a BG8, and the plastic ring breaks, leaving the bolt behind. That's right. You have to break the pull station to activate it. A Demco, in their infinite quality, only provides you with three chances to reset this pull station straight out of the box. I again learned my lesson, originally found by owning the BG10, whereby over-tightening the bolt shattered one of my brake discs. Let's take this quality product back to my quality back box and see what a quality pull station pulling experience looks like. Since Ademco only gives you one shot to pull this station, I took the liberty of filming three shots pulling the station. As you can see, the brake disc shatters violently in a brilliant flash of brown shards and the station flies open with an emergent vigor. That's it. That's all you get. Now the station must be reset by inserting another disc and tightening the bolt. So after all of this, is there anything positive I can say about this pull station? Well, not really, other than it looks kinda cool. Kinda reminds me of the Crimson Chin. I most certainly would not deem it to be a quality product by any means, and I am reminded of an old analogy from the fire panel forums. A Demco is to fire alarm as cardboard is to body armor. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's Fire Alarm Friday, and I hope to see you next week. Press stop.